So, as you can tell by my earlier videos, I've received my OR2, but it didn't come with a seat yet. Here we are, I'm installing a custom seat that I ordered off Facebook Marketplace. First, I want to draw to your attention some info from the Your2 Kickstarter campaign page about the types of seats that are compatible. And then also, if you're planning to use it for VR, you probably don't want to buy a seat like this because it's not going to let you turn your head around with a VR headset on. As you can see from the seat that I got, which is an actual car racing seat, um, the base of it is not a solid base. So there's nowhere I can just drill into the bottom. There's these four posts that uh, I'm going to need to fabricate a bracket so that I can connect it to the your seat plate or seat slide plate um, that you can see here. So here we go. Luckily I had this uh, three mil metal strip at home. So I used the angle grinder to cut that into two lengths that are the right length. And then using the spring loaded center punch after drilling the first hole, I lined up and punched for the second hole. Took that off, took it over to the drill press, drilled that hole. And yes, my wife keeps telling me I need to clean my shed. Garage for Americans. And <clears throat> after drilling that hole, all good. Just checked the fitment of that and it lined up perfectly. All right, so now I use that as a template to punch out the holes on the second strip. I'll just take a moment to thank my youngest boy for helping me record these videos or this particular video. Drill both of those holes. I'm using that little indentation from the center punch to line the drill bit up before I turn it on, just so it doesn't skate around and I get the hole in exactly the right place. And now I'm going to change over to a countersunk bit. And this is just to take the sharp edges off of those four holes. So the, I'll only show one plate, but I did it to both. So just a slight chamfer on each side of those. And then make sure they all fit. Now with the seat slide, I'm just lining it up by eye. Probably should have measured it, but it's pretty close. And then I mark the inner holes with a Sharpie. You want to make sure that arrow on the seat slide is pointing towards the front of the seat. Otherwise, you're going to put your holes in the wrong places. Using the center punch again. To mark where those holes are for drilling. And to save you some time, I did not film the drilling of the holes, but now I'm using a tap and die set to thread those holes so that the bolts that I use to hold the seat slide in place thread straight into this strip. And I believe in my case, they were M6 bolts with a 10 millimeter head. And the original bolts, which were with the seat, were um, 13 mil um, socket. So 
I did that for all four of those. Checked the bolts fitted in. I moved on to spray painting. So I did this to both sides and let it dry overnight. And I'm using engine enamel there. It was just some black paint that I had sitting around. Now for final assembly. And what I found is that the holes weren't lining up in one with that back plate in that orientation. So I just flipped it over. That's what you get for eyeballing things. But flip that over and then everything lined up with the plate looking even and centered. Done. And here's the finished seat in place. One thing I did find, as you can see here, is that depending on where you mount the seat belt, and this is a seat belt that came with this seat, um, it can actually impinge the roll capability, as you can see in this video here, um, and it'll cause the belt buckle to hit onto the pitch platform and also that could potentially dint it or something. So just be mindful of that when you're setting yours up. Thanks again. See you soon.